the Napa Valley has become synonymous with the great grape Cabernet Sauvignon, and a majority of winemakers here produce it. But thanks to the diverse soils and growing conditions, all kinds of varieties flourish in this one small place. We are so fortunate here in Napa Valley to have such great conditions that encourage the growth of Bordeaux varietal, such as Cabernet Sauvignon, Cabernet Franc, Merlot, and Sauvignon Blanc, but also Burgundian varietal, such as Pinot Noir and Chardonnay. You know, this Napa Valley is incredibly beautiful, and it has such diversity. All of these soil type differences, the climate, this allows then winemakers to either blend to a specific type or to find that specific site, that specific estate that sings to them. And that's what makes it beautiful. Making wine from a single estate provides an opportunity to create a truly unique wine, one that speaks to a particular soil and its microclimate, to create a wine that captures the essence of a single place and time. What's beautiful to me is to be able to have the opportunity to blend six different estate vineyards so that there are different aspects of terroir going into one blend. That means making a wine that has multiple layers of complexity. There's a lot of confusion about the meaning of terroir. For the French, it means herbs. So when we speak about terroir-driven wines, those wines need to reflect the essence and the character of the earth. Cabernet Sauvignon accounts for 12% of California's wine grape harvest and makes up approximately 40% of Napa Valley's overall harvest. But it also represents 55% of the overall crop value. Innovation and a curious spirit guide many different approaches to winemaking. But as any Napa winemaker will tell you, quality starts in the vineyard. Our goal is always to listen to the grapes and do as little as possible in the winemaking process. This is to allow the fruit to express itself. The goal is always quality over quantity. From grape growing through winemaking, we are always focused on getting the very best possible grapes into the bottle. The crop yield in Napa Valley is typically 50% or less than the average crop yield in other parts of California. It's an intentional decision made by Napa Valley's vintners and growers. We're always looking to the latest research to supplement our intuition and our practical experience. For example, now with the optical grape sorter, we can select the berries that we want to go into our wine. We can select fruit with very tight specifications based on color, shape, and size. Napa Valley is one of the few, if not the only, premium wine regions to have a university experimental vineyard. The UC Davis Field Station in Oakville works exclusively to improve viticultural practices. This continual emphasis on quality, constant improvement and innovation has helped keep Napa Valley wines among the most desired in the world. Napa Valley is unique. I wouldn't want to be anywhere else in the world. This is where I want to be.